So you say when you start to awaken the third eye, right? You start awakening, you start seeing one, 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 two, 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 three, three, three. Like, why is that? Is that just because those numbers hold so, significance? So, so, no. So basically, this is a matrix, and the symbols are all around us. The numbers all around us. Once you start being aware and you start seeing them, that's when you start waking up, man. Because they're always there. You're just noticing now for the first time. But I've always known. I've seen that all the time. You're, bro. Fucking, like, you're fucking 33. So yeah. am I. So that's a that's whole cool. different issue, man. I mean, even look at your podcast right there. Yeah. You see the CC? Yeah. That's a 3-3. Three, three. Oh, really? She's the third letter. Interesting. So what even even fuck? right there you have it, bro. Subconsciously. Yo, Subconsciously, wow. it's right there. You didn't even know it. Yeah, these. Wow. Interesting. Why do you think it's called the CCP? They're trying to use the 33 three. energy, too. Mm. They're wow. not slick. I know what these fuckers are doing. That's what I try to tell people, man, to the people in the governments around the world who are not listening, man. It, it's either America or China. You better fucking get your shit together, man. Mm. It, 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 because the Chinese are hitting people with feng shui. If you go feng to <laughs> if you go if you go to a map yeah. of China in Beijing, look at all the buildings around the uh, UK embassy. They're pointed in a very very strange way, and what it is is they're saying negative chi. To mm. the uh, basically the uh, the American and UK embassy. Mm. See, they understand how this stuff works, and they're using it against us. And these Westerners are too stupid to understand that this is actually real knowledge. Mm. Oh, this ain't real. Shut the fuck up. So the chat you, you go into a a, a Rolex store. Yes. Mm. They have not just the watches at 28. They have a whole big 28 everywhere. Yep, yep. Mm. Why do you think they do that? And again. The people who are skeptical, you don't have as much money as Rolex. Right. Who are you going to trust? Right. And again, never trust a poor person, except with one thing, getting women. Listen hmm. to me. Listen to me. Okay. That's you only trust a poor person who gets women, because if he's a broke dude and he's still pulling baddies, then he got fucking game. Okay? <laughs> no. So you trust the broke guy. Right. But with the rich guy, all these red pillars who are worth millions and millions, you don't trust them for shit. Because if they didn't have that bag, they wouldn't have the bitch. Dude, mm. that is actually a saying that's, that we're saying a lot in private. And it's starting to go out in the red pill now is like, don't trust a person that can't get a girl. You know, especially like, is it, like there's a lot of influencers out here and like that are trying to get into the red pill now that are like, dude, these are like these are these dudes are like half broken virgins, bro. Like Spurgs, yeah. They're Spurgs and shit. They're really they're a lot of weirdos and shit. So yeah, <laughs> if if someone can pull a, I mean, yeah, if, it's true, dude. What was his name? John Anthony or some shit? Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm saying the name. That's the boogeyman. <laughs> Say three I, times, I, see what I mean, listen, I'd rather be a, a, a listen to a virgin than a fucking cuck like D Destiny. True. Yeah. And also, well, I mean, I mean listen, listen, if Adam 22 and Dusty can be influencers, <laughs> then fuck you. Let's have virgins as influencers, too. Right. I mean, what the fuck is Aiden Ross? Mm. I, 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 this guy's a fucking clown. Just a straight clown, man. I mean, I, I really think the, I mean, I, it's really the Twitch conspiracy theory for me. I mean, like, all this stuff started happening. I mean, Twitch is attacking YouTube. That's what's mm. going on right now. Like all these, all this shit that's going down with this cuckoldry shit. Now, there's always been this kind of like I, mean, I call it faggotry. There's always been this faggotry and this homosexual stuff forever and stuff. But it's it's really been pushed into like the lexicon of the red pill and all this and all this stuff because Twitch, all these Twitch streamers, these top Twitch guys, all started coming into the YouTube space. And this is when it's all because all these guys. I know Zerka. We've talked, you know, but we've talked to They're Zerka all and stuff. Born after two thousand. A lot of them. I'm not. I mean, yeah, yeah, just saying. Just hey, saying. Hey, hey. Unfortunately, oh, I don't right, right. But like, <laughs> god damn. <laughs> but it's true. But like, but like talking to Zerka, you know, we've we've talking for hours, and we talk, and we, we we like he would just tell us that like every time they do these Twitch parties, it, there's, there's like these fuck fests and these group yep. sex parties and shit. And he's like, what the fuck? This is like so crazy. Everyone's messing around with everybody. Like he's like he's like I couldn't believe that homosexual destiny. He's like smashing this chick and that yeah. chick, and like you know, um, <laughs> there's. <laughs> I, I when I look at stuff like that, I see someone who has no morals. Right. If you're willing to sell out your your girl, mm. you'll sell out your boys in a minute. Right. And you know when you look at people like Destiny or Nick Fuentes, again we're we're going from a virgin to a cuck. You know we we do have one thing in common. <laughs> a lot of people who used to be friends with them. Are now fucking enemies with them. Yeah. Why is it that Nick Fuentes is friends with so many people, Baked the last, a whole bunch of other people, yeah. and all these people turn on him? 
Mm-hmm. You know, at some point, it, it, you know, you have to start looking in the mirror. Look at Destiny. He's friends with all these people, and then he starts cutting the same people off. Yep. So, again, we know who we're talking about here. So a lot of these people on one end of the spectrum or another – Start looking at, you know, their relationships. If your so-called best friend turns on you mm. over and over and over, look inward. It's probably you. Mm. Now, um, damn. I mean, that's, I mean, so what, like, what is, so, obviously, I don't have a problem with these guys in terms of, I, like, I, I mean, in ter- I don't know, like, I don't really have, a, like, unless they out, or do some evil shit, right, and they're, and, like, they're borderline doing some evil shit, but, like, with, uh, what's, what's his name, the guy, the, uh, Nick, like Nick Fuentes, right? Like I don't got a problem with the guy or anything like that, but like it is, you are right. That is a weird thing that every time you work with somebody, at the end of the time, they end up either they you they end up hating you or you betray them or something, right? It's like what the fuck? At what, some point, yeah. w- w- it, it stops being the other person, right? Because I've I've seen it too many times. I've talked to so many people who used to be friends with Nick Fuentes, right? It's like okay, and did you know Destiny and Nick Fuentes used to be good friends? Ugh, I'm not surprised. I'm not, so I'm not surprised. so think about it. Those two used to debate each other. When they were young, and as they grew, they grew apart. Uh, I believe that uh, Destiny took more to develop. Um, but, you know, listen, I, I look at people like that, and I, I just have no respect for them. Right. I just have, like, listen, dude, uh, what happens? Every time you go on Fresh and Fit, some dude's be, uh, fucking your wife? I mean, what the fuck? Do you have yeah. to come back at a certain time so, you know, you, you don't catch the wife in bed with somebody else? This is disgusting, disgusting ass, shit. Yeah. Disgusting shit. And then you go to Adam Twenty Two. It's like, okay, dude. You know, I want to make a bet with him. I want to see. You know, what are the odds that you know he already pimped up his wife? What are the odds he's gonna start pimping out his daughter when oh she's my of age? God, dude. I mean, oh no, my seriously. God. If you're, I know, I know you're, if right. you're gonna pimp out your wife, what's gonna stop you from pimping out your, your fucking daughter. daughter? Right. You know, uh, a lot of the, a lot of these. Uh, I don't trust people with face tattoos anyway. Fucking all fucking tatted up in your face. There's something fucking wrong mm-hmm. with you. You're you're fucking subconsciously trying to cover up your fucking face because you've done so much dirt in your life. That's what fucking happens when people do so much fucking dirt in their life. They don't like what the fuck they see in the mirror and they start covering them up with tattoos and shit. Right. That's what it is. It's a mental fucking illness because these people don't like the fucking demon they see in the fucking mirror. It's just this trauma and shit that it built. Like Zerk, this was like one thing Zerk has been so good at. Like I've been listening to some of his streams and stuff that he's like, I don't really hear enough people like built. It's built up trauma. Shit just happens to you, and then you just end up doing like like you just end up going to degeneracy or drugs and shit. I mean, like there there's a joke I heard on a, a bodybuilding podcast recently. Like, what's <laughs> what's the difference between a straight man and a gay man? A twenty dollar bag of meth. <laughs> It's fucking rough. Man. It's fucking rough. There's like, like, there's a crazy amount in the bodybuilding industry. Like these dudes, like some of these dudes get so, like they start getting into like, they start getting into like amphetamine, and then they start going into like, let's just take. But, math. but, but let me ask you this: What percentage of bodybuilders are only good at one thing, bodybuilding? Well, like professional ones, you mean? No, like, no, I'm just talking about the people who just do this all the time. The only thing they're actually good at in their life is the gym. Everything else in their life. Is awful. Their family, their jobs. A, I would say a good portion of them. Yeah, a good, a good portion of them. A good portion. You know, yeah. and, and I wouldn't say all, but there's, no, no, no. There's definitely the top of the food chain, and yeah. you know everything. But you know, when I look at people like that, I don't idolize people like that. I, you know, I look at people like Musk. You know, this guy wasn't fucking in there. This guy was fucking building empire. Yeah. Um, some of the that's, smartest. But that's, a, but that's Obama's boy, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, that is yeah. to a point. That yeah. is to a point. I mean, everyone had help, but again, uh, he's still a genius. No, no, I'm not taking it. Mm-hmm. But I'm just wondering, like, because, like, 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 right, like, Obama's right. a. <laughs> I mean, I had his brother right here yeah, a couple Mal- days ago out. saying the same thing. Hey. Shout out Malik Obama. Hey, we mm-hmm. just got him into crypto too. So shout out to him. There you go. Yeah, hey. there you go. Obama's brother's in crypto now. 